Hi everyone, and welcome to another video. So in yesterday's video, we took a look at the TDK ADX from 1982. And we talked about how TDK used it as a predecessor to the AR. And the ADX at the time was the very best Type 1 that TDK made. And before that, I mentioned that the predecessor to the ADX was the OD, or the Optimum Dynamic Cassette. So it went from the D, the Dynamic, to the AD, or the Acoustic Dynamic, and the OD, which is the Optimum Dynamic. But I did not mention in that video that there was actually another predecessor, one that came before the Optimum Dynamic, and that is the TDK. ED, or the Extra Dynamic Cassette. Um, unfortunately, the case on mine was um, got a bit cracked, and this right here is from around 1975 or 76, and um, it was used up until 1978. And in 1979, TDK began using the OD. Um, I can't really replace it with any other case because I don't have any other 1975-76 um, TDK cassettes. So, there you go. Now, this ED actually uses a different formulation compared to basically every other cassette in the market at the time. And what spec what exactly is that? Apparently, I'm, my mic is peaking. I gotta bring it down a bit. So what what exactly is this um this formulation? Well, this TDK ED uses a unique um, chemical known as magnetite. So every single cassette before, um, at least according to Compact Cassettes JP or Compact Cassettes JP, um, before every single cassette used a material known as gamma hematite and it was very stable um, very good for you know recording and whatnot but TDK began to experiment with magnetite now what is magnetite um, according to a forum on tapeheads.net magnetite is um, chemically fe304 and of course um if you look at the original um, the original ion oxide chemical formula that's only FeO2 so yeah FeO3O4 is completely different and that is magnetite um, and according to once again compact cassettes JP essentially um, magnetite has better magnetic characteristics but it has some problems such as being chemically unstable and um, easy to transfer. Um, but what TDK did to remove those problems essentially was to um, increase the concentration of magnetite in a way such that um, you know the problems would no longer be seen. And the mole at the time, which was plus four in the mid to low range um, was actually higher than every other tape in the market including chrome and of course that came with um, quite a price um, yeah this ED was a very expensive cassette at the time and not many people bought it because it was a type 1 um, and yeah, at the time, Type 2 was still relatively new. It came out in the late 60s, and this was the mid-70s. And um, at the time, I believe, Type 3 was not yet out. And so Type 2, people believe Type 2 was still the number one in the market. And so they just didn't bother to get any Type 1s like this ED. So there you go. That's why it's very rare nowadays. Very, very rare. Um, I was very lucky to get this for quite a cheap price on Yahoo Auctions. Um, I don't remember the exact one, but it was like something like 
500 yen or something. Um, anyway, let's take a look at the cassette itself once and for all. So this is the TDK EDC60 Extra Dynamic Cassette as you can see there. This is the 1975 version which has the Precision Cassette Half. Now before, before this there was a 1973 version which did not have the improved cassette half. This cassette half was also the one used in the 1975 TDK SA. So there you go. Um, I'll attach a picture right now of the 1973 ED just so you can see it. Yeah, it has three stars because the D had one star, the AD had two stars, and the ED, the top of the line, had three stars. So it says it has sonorous sound, low noise, and high output. Let's see about that later in the video. There you go, EDC60 TDK, the classic 75 design. And at the back, it's a bunch of Japanese. Okay, normal EQ 120 microseconds, compact cassette logo. Then a bunch of stuff about TDK and, um, and the qualities of the cassette. So let's open this up. And let's take out these other two cassettes over here. Now, um, as you can see, this uh, has some some writing on it, on a, on the A side, but on the B side, there's nothing. So that's that's good to know at least, because I like seeing my cassettes blank in terms of the label. Anyway, on A, it says here "New Love Music Number Three One Five One." That's a lot of a lot of cassettes, <laughs> three thousand one hundred fifty-one. Anyway. That's the A side. Nice, um, nice arrow on that, on that label. EQ one twenty microseconds, made in Japan. EDC sixty by TDK. Noise reduction in or out. Compact cassette logo. Same thing on the B side, but it says the letter B in yellow. And um, luckily here I have the tab still in. On the ADX they were no longer in, so I had to use a a piece of tape so I could record over it um, if you look at the tape itself let me really quickly um, grab my BIC um, yeah okay uh, I can't find my BIC um, I'll just use my finger there you go that's the tape as you can see very black because of the magnetite and um, Maxell actually used black magnetite as their um, their primary formula, their primary chemical in their tape formulations in the um, mid to late 90s, I believe. Yeah, that was a big part of their advertising campaign, Black Magnetite. And um, let me just say it definitely did uh, improve the performance of their cassettes. So now, let's grab the J card. There you go, extra dynamic cassette. Yeah, I already looked at this. And then and on the back, um, you can see there, uh, A and B. It's very, very similar to the ADX J card and everything else. It's just in a, a different font and um, the colors look a bit more dull. I guess that's just because of, of age, but I'm not sure. There you go, yeah, date, time, mono, stereo, um, bias, EQ, normal, noise reduction, in or out. And um, yeah, ED60 with the TDK logo. And um, well, yeah, very similar to the other J cards. Unfortunately, I'm missing the, uh, the tape, I, I forgot what they call it, the tape catalog thing that you rip off after you write on it. Yeah, I'm missing that. And apparently here on the inside it says new music number 151. So I wonder why um, it says 3151 on the, on the cassette itself. But anyway, um, that is basically a, a short overview on the TDK ED. So now... Let's let's do the audio test. I'll see you there. All right, so welcome back to the hi-fi setup. 
Right now we have our TDK EDC60 um, ready for recording. Um, our track for today is called Alley Cat by Geographer on the YouTube audio library. And of course it's going to be recorded and played back using my Victor KDA66. Um, I will let you folks know that the, r the previous recording on this TDKED sounded absolutely spectacular. Like, <laughs> my goodness. Um, I, I, I really do wonder what, what deck they were using because it just sounded so good. Like, seriously. Anyway, I would also want to let you folks know that um, I compared the sound using the uh, original recording from this this ED, um, I compared the sound between my KDA66 and my TCK55 um, in terms of playback, and uh, for some reason my um, TCK55 actually sounds better um, in terms of playback. And I did some research and I found out that the that JVC's SA heads. Um, weren't actually very good for playback they were more of a recording type head um so there you go and sony's send dust and ferrite head they they tried to um do kind of best of both worlds i guess but um i'm actually planning on doing a comparison video between the kda66 and the tck55 um, sometime in the future I might actually make one uh, next week since tomorrow um, I have a different video planned I'm going to uh, complete this series with the TDK AR um, so yeah we did the ADX the ED and now the the final one the AR so that's what I'm going to be doing for Friday but next week I might actually compare the KDA66 and TCK55 um, on on Monday, but we'll we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what what happens. Anyway, um, that's about it for my little um ramble, I guess an announcement as well. Uh, so, um, let's get recording. Let me just set up my task cam really quickly.
Okay, well, that was the TDK ED, and let me just say that sounded very nice. I mean, for something that was made almost 50 years ago, it was, it's 46 years this year, nearly 50 years ago, and it sounded that good. That was insane. And, um, when I first listened to the original recording, I was just totally, totally floored by by the quality of this uh, cassette. I'll switch to my task cam really quickly, and this time I won't forget to press record. There you go, I'm back to the task cam. Yeah, that, that ED was just phenomenal. Um, sounded great, especially for a Type 1. It, it has a um, very clear sound. Um, similar to the ADX, at least um, clearer than most Type 1s. Uh, and once again, it, it may not sound the best on this uh, KDA66, but, you know, um, with what it's given, it sounds really good. So, yeah, um, that's about it. The TDK ED C60. So, what do I think about this cassette? Well, I've pretty much already said it in the audio test portion. It sounds phenomenal, especially for something that is 46 years old. That is just totally insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I still have no words for it. Um, and, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it about the TDK ED C60. Um, it's a glimpse into cassette history from back when, um, back when cassettes weren't the number one format yet. It was still vinyl. Um, yeah, but even then, manufacturers like TDK were already making incredible cassettes, and of course, the best is yet to come, <laughs> you know? Um, I hope you like these, uh, these calmer videos where my, my voice is, um, less loud, less shouty. For example, you know, if you compare it with my other voice. Where, like, if I'm, if I'm talking like this, you know, that's, that's, that's my normal voice. But this is, um, this is much calmer. Um, I, I hope you like it like that. Because, um, I don't know, I hope you like it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you're liking the quality of the videos as well, because, um, given uh, the, the workload that I have, um, I don't really have much time to, you know, write a script or prepare anything, um, any, yeah, anything really. Um, all of these are, like, when I record, which is, um, literally at, at 12 a.m., right now it's 12.43 a.m., um, before I sleep, I, um, basically I think of the idea on the fly, and I do the entire thing on the fly, so like, um, I choose a cassette from my collection, then I, I pick a song from the YouTube audio library, then I record the video, I don't know, it's, it's what I do, it's completely unscripted, it's what I've been doing for a very long time, um, and, uh, I hope you like it. Next week, I, I will have much more time to, to do things because I'm very free next week. Don't have anything to do. So, um, I, I guess expect the uh, higher quality videos. Maybe. That's not a guarantee. Okay? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe. Like, a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. Please subscribe. I I, I, I don't want to be that guy. I want to be that, that type of YouTuber. But, you know, I have to do it to keep me going. And um, and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I'll finally be able to put ads and, <clears throat> you know, get something from my videos. But, you know, most of these are... Most of these videos are really just made for, for fun. Because, you know, I, I, I love the format so much. 
um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've probably said that's pretty much it so many times already. <laughs> yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> so sorry for the ramble. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you very much for spending your time to take a look at my videos. Um, you can take a look at my playlist of my other cassette videos right up here in the corner. And um, I recently got this cassette from a Japanese um, from Yahoo Auctions in Japan. I mentioned that in the in the beginning. So you'll see in the end card there there is a. Um, you'll see my video unboxing all of those so I hope you enjoy that if you want to take a look at that um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my content if you want to take a look at that <laughs> um, yeah once again thank you for watching and goodbye